Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. So let's take a look in the forex market, particularly in euro currency. So really big day was yesterday. Um, lots of things to tell, but uh, we keep the most interesting topics to the weekend because we just can't put it in a short video today. Here I'll try to take it short. So it seems guys that Powell is just following the market uh, and uh, tail is back to dog. Uh, now everybody becomes for everybody it becomes evident that it could be much better and would be much better if it would be July 25 base point cut and September 25 base point cut. It it will smooth the effect on this. Currently, when Powell has made a really sharp step and rate cut, this shake the market, and it seems that markets do not believe the Powell. In fact, his speech recently was has no relation to reality it's just because he keeps speaking about strong economy uh, more or less healthy and not overheated a job market moderate inflation and at the same time he cuts the rate for the 50 basis point where are the logic it's obviously the absence so we just could tell hello to the rising of the inflation pressure which will come very soon uh, current it has it, become obvious that uh there are really some margin of the trust to the power now is deteriorating it's mostly because just a few months ago he has sworn that he will put in return inflation back to the two percent now he speaks that it's not necessary and actually could not pay attention to inflation at all actually what they have done uh, on the stock market you could see that no absolute reaction at all so market doesn't treat this step as a positive. Speaking about our achievement, uh, currently when the all point stands in the places, we could say that we're going on a positive scenario for the euro. If you remember, when we talked about a couple of weeks ago, different scenarios, we said our basic scenario 25, 25 points from the European Central Bank and the Fed. But you can see that Fed has made stronger step and currently we're on an environment of 25 50 base points which actually supports the euro especially if your uh, union will take the pause in october which is highly likely i suppose it means that uh when the market will come down a bit after this emotional day uh, we probably should get positive changes on your currency and possible upper continuation uh, from the technical point of view, even now we could say that take a look at A, B, C, patch that we had currently erased. So market has this spike up, erased this point. Daily trend has turned bullish. So we need just to wait when this uh, volatility will quiet a bit, and uh, then and now actually we uh, start could start thinking about taking a long position. Uh, here is also example why guys I do not prefer to not take the part in all these messages just because take a look what has happened yesterday uh just Im imagine what stress people has got that were involved in all this mess around with these spikes and drops actually about what in the, re in, the re in the result in the result we're at the same point where we were yesterday but we know the background much much better and currently we could make just weighted decision on what reasonable decision what to do next here we've got great bullish engulfing in fact you could see that hand shoulders has been formed but as it usually happens in such a days it was really sharp and uh, right arm is very small but reversal to the upside has happened precisely from the level that we have specified i do not know guys whether you were able to take a position here or not uh, but now it, it doesn't mean a lot actually we now just could wait for some minor retracement and easily consider some support levels from this upper direction against these lows and possible taking of the long position diversion has here has been completed with this spike as you could see 
on the hourly chart take a look what has happened market together completed divergence completed a b c d o p and take a look yes we haven't got some kind of the hand shoulders but anyway it's dropped to the precisely 111 uh 11085 confidence that we mentioned as a potential area to watch for also has been tested so everything goes really nice and uh now we just will be watching for this most recent upper protection. We do not need everything to the left. That is our working swing right now. Uh, these lows are vi vital for us currently. And we just keep watching for this stuff, uh, possible pullbacks here, some retracement to the FIB levels to consider taking the position. Maybe our latest, some pattern will be formed as well. I do not know yet what the shape market will take. The only thing that, mention, that uh, we should mention, actually, it's a grabber on the dollar index. Uh, here we've got another one. Actually, this was the reason why I thought to not dealing with the market uh, yesterday. We explained this in details in the video as well. And take a look recently with this volatility, we've got another grubber. But I have some doubts on its reliability. This market indeed could push price on the dollar above the stocks. Butterfly, by the way, has been complete. So here is exactly 127 extension. With the spikes, this butterfly is done. And now you can see that some kind of the reversal type of action is developing. So I, I, I wouldn't count too much on this grubber. This might be just a result. As a, sometimes it happens as a byproduct of the big events. There's a rising volatility as you can see what has happened. Um, I would focus on uh, performance on the euro first of all. And see what will happen there. Because here we definitely have some bullish signs. And currently today, tomorrow I would be watching for this action. And watching for the levels how market will show retracement here and all the stuff that we usually do so that in towards what we have on your uh the strategy we will discuss as usual in the vehicle report and here is just uh short term inputs on the current trading plan that we have